This is Michael Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we do some simple integration using MATLAB. Now, we define a uh, symbol x. We integrate um, three times x with respect to x. Okay, so it gives the answer. Well, as you expected. Now, I change this. Well, what do you expect from this integration? You expect like it's 3x squared divided by 2 plus 3x, right? Okay, let's press enter. It gives you this answer. It's 3 times x plus 1, the whole thing squared divided by 2. Okay, now, does it make a difference than the answer we expect? Yes, it does. If you think about like we expect this 3x squared divided by 2 plus 3x, we get this one, this answer. It will come up with a constant. The constant is equal to 3 over 2, which is like because like x plus 1 squared is equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1 times 3. The, the 1 times 3 is equal to 3, 3 over 2 is 3 over 2 is 1.5. Well, this answer doesn't match with our expectation. Why? Because do you remember that like, every time when we do the integration, we need to, well, somehow we, we have a constant. The constant in here, basically MATLAB doesn't like, have the information of what constant you want to have. So it gives you this answer. So, so how can we really come up with the correct answer? Something like what we expect. We need to give a range. Well, let's say, we integrate from 0 to 1. It's 9 over 2. So, so does it what we expect? Assume like uh, uh, we have like 3x squared. Uh, well, we, we have this in here. The answer we expect is like 3x squared divided by 2 plus 3x. Now, we integrate it from, from 0. So, here, this is the answer we, we, we calculate. And the answer is 4.5 is equal to lie over 2, which is like the answer gener generated by MATLAB. So can we do something else, like more complicated stuff? Yeah. Integrate cosine x plus sine 5x. Um, it very complicated. Divide by tangent x. Oh yeah. It's still able to give you the answer. Easy, quickly, and simple. Um, but as I like want to remind you, this answer it may mess up with a constant, so it would be better like you check with that um, before you really like apply this answer. Or you can put the value into there, then the final answer will be correct. This is infinite.